So, real quick, uh, this is going to be our part of our rainwater recapture system. This is going to be the primary source of rainwater recapture. These are a pair of uh, IBC uh, totes, uh, 275 gallons a piece, so 550 gallons total capacity. Uh, we picked them up uh, from a, a person here local in Tucson who gets them from, uh, they're off, they are food grade, uh, gets them from uh, uh, a distributor. Uh, mostly they hold like uh, syrups and sometimes soaps, uh, things along those lines. Um, all we really did was just, uh, just to put them together so far, uh, just put them up on these uh, concrete blocks uh, around the back side of the garage that we had put in, our tough sheds. Um, just uh, put them together with some PVC, some ball valves. I left this ball valve on the end here because we're planning on expanding. Planning on putting one more in here. During monsoon season, I mean, we don't get a lot of rain, but during monsoon season, we can get quite a bit of rain in short periods of time. And I want to be able to capture all that so I can make use of it as long as I can. Uh, we actually went and got the real cam locks uh, to actually lock on the, uh, the nipple from the uh, IBC totes. Uh, those are ball valves inside there. The red handles are ball valves, the green handles are the butterfly valves. The ball valves last a lot longer. Uh, so if you're looking for IBC totes, that's a, that's a good little tip to have, is to make sure you get the ones with the uh, ball valves instead of the butterfly valves. Uh, and just put these pieces together. Um, and how it's gonna feed, it basically comes in through this pipe through the top of the tank. This pipe comes around to the side and hooks up to my gutter system here, which I just put in just for this specific reason. I put in a first flush system. What that does, uh, it's a larger PVC pipe that is going to capture uh, most of the initial water that comes off of the roof, which is going to be filled with dust and debris and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and inside that uh, pipe, there's actually a, uh, it's basically just a racquetball. Um, that floats up as the water fills that pipe and it plugs that hole for this pipe right here So it keeps all the floaty stuff in so the floaty stuff doesn't go up any further than that uh, Once this is filled then obviously the water will start flowing down this line And down into the tank and it provides us with a little bit cleaner water uh, we did get uh, six one hundredths of an inch of rain a few a month ago or so and that's six one hundredths of an inch of rain, and I'm only capturing from this one half of the roof. And that six one hundredths of an inch of rain gave me about uh, 30 gallons of water in this one tote, which is you know, a pretty considerable amount considering such a small amount of rain. Plus, I had to fill up the first flush first. Now, the water that went in there wasn't as clean as I had hoped it would be, so I may actually have to add a second uh, tube to this first flush to give me a little bit more capacity. Um, and then I should be able to get a little bit cleaner water in there, although since we're really only using that water for watering the garden It's really not that big of a concern to me um, If we ever did have to use it for drinking water, we do have uh, Some hiking style ceramic uh, water filter systems That we could just use to filter the water out if we ever had to drink out of it for whatever reason um, But that's that for the IBC totes. Thanks for watching